Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another DIY. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you would like to, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, like this video, comment, and share. Let's go ahead and get started in the video. So I have this um, wooden cutout from the Dollar Tree that a awesome subscriber sent it to me because I couldn't find them. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove the tree and sand it down and then give it a coat of the Waverly chalk paint in crimson over most of the truck. And I also have this half pearl sticker that I'm going to also paint in the um, crimson as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut down some popsicle sticks and I cut four long ones and then a bunch of square ones. What I'm making is a long ladder. So what I'm making, if you haven't already guessed it by the thumbnail, is a fire truck. We are redoing my grandson's bedroom in fire trucks. He's getting a big boy bed here soon. And so um, turning this farmhouse, you know, truck into a fire truck. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out the ladder to see how I wanted to do it. And then I glue it together. Once that's glued together, I'm gonna give it a coat of the Waverly chalk paint in white. And then I also do paint um, these two little round circles that come in a game from the Dollar Tree that I just happen to have extra lying around so that I can put in the wheels um, once I paint those as well. So now it's time to paint the tires. I just give those a good coat of the Waverly chalk paint and ink. And I just needed to give those one coat, carefully paint around the rims. And then I also paint the, um, that thing that you open the, the door handle. My goodness. 
and I paint that black as well. And I have this little wooden piece from a game piece from the Dollar Tree as well. And I just cut that off and I'm gonna give that a coat of black and that'll serve um, to put at the top of the fire truck. Once I get it cut all even, it'll get a coat of black as well. Now that my ladder is dry, I just wanna see where I wanna place it. And I hot glue that down to the back and angle it up so that it doesn't go anywhere. I didn't wanna stick it on the top. I just wanted it angled, I don't know, something different. Very whimsical. And I glue that little black piece to the top. And I enforce it as well. And then I'm gonna take that um, half pearl and attach it to the top for my siren light thing. And then I glue the little hubcaps onto the tires. Since this is kind of an older looking fire truck, I decided to add an older looking headlamp. So I drew it on and then I'm using another um, pearl. And then I just go ahead and um, freehand paint an old looking headlamp and color, color, paint that in. And then once that's dry, I'll add in um, the pearl. But um, I thought that was a nice little element to add. And then, um, let's see, what do I do next? I think I'm just going to go in and add some details, um, to like the grill and just some lines around the door and the, um, fenders and footboards and all of that. Then I decided to add um, J, K, F, D to stand for Jack Kyle, Fire Department, Jack Kyle for his first and middle name. I just thought that would be cute. And of course, all of my paint pens were not working. I did finally find one that was working but it just was not writing the best. So once that dried, I decided to go over it with a detail um, paintbrush with my Waverly chalk paint and just fill it in. And then on the back, I decided to write engine 17, which 17 is the year he was born. So 
So just another cute element. And it's just sloppy, but it's supposed to look gold. So I thought that was just another cute element. And here it is all done. My grandson loves it. He keeps wanting to play with it and I have to tell him, no, it's just for decoration. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next time. Bye guys.